ultimate wardrobe home office setup. Did you like it? Today I'm going to show you how to create a space efficient but very productive home office or workstation setup for the lowest budget possible. This is very useful if you are renting a house and you can't physically modify the place. Now I'm going to be breaking down this video in three different areas which make it easier to understand. Let's begin with where I'm going to set up this system. I have a small room and this is where I set up my studio with all lighting and cameras to shoot videos and at the same time this is the room where I have my workstation to edit them as well. Since the room is small when everything set up I have less space to move back and forth from the studio to workstation which is crucial for content creating. I tried moving the workstation to different locations in the room but nothing worked. I had this big wardrobe space I used as a store area and thought maybe it might work if I set it up in the wardrobe. First problem I ran into was what to do with the big two doors but as you can see now I have removed both doors by removing the hinges. I place them both in a safe place with screws to fix them back when I'm planning to vacate. As the second part in the lineup, let's look at my workstation and computer table setup. With the doors removed, I put my computer table in. If you are setting up like this, please remember to not to put the table all the way in as then it will be harder to do the cable management. I got two monitor arms with the table clamps for the side monitors. These arms will cost less than $50 in Australia or you can find used cheaper ones on Facebook marketplace. I kept the middle main monitor unattached to a fixed arm as sometimes I need the monitor to move freely and I like the monitor stand that came with my AOC 144Hz monitor. I have a Blackmagic keyboard for editing in DaVinci Resolve onto my left and Corsair keyboard into the middle and mouse on top of this long mouse pad from Thermaltake. I like this look and feel as I'm a casual gamer. Then I have a power cube back at the right hand monitor for my phone charger and for any other electrical needs which comes very handy. Then uh, for my music and audio work I have two JBL 4.5 inch studio monitors as main playback devices on top of two stands fixed to the monitor arm itself and Focusrite Scarlett Solo as my audio interface fixed to the Audio Technica AT2020 condenser mic. Workstation is the place where everyone spends most of their time in an office and for me too. When it comes to content creating, this is the area I use for scripting, editing, color grading and stuff. Other times I use this area for email, calendars, accounts, work and when I have some free time to do some casual gaming as well. It doesn't matter what the specs are but essentially there should be a desktop with a monitor or a laptop as a computer. For me the CPU kept on the floor is powered by a 16 core Ryzen 9 with 32 gigs of memory and 8 gigs of video memory attached to one main monitor and two additional monitors to increase the productivity. Again it doesn't matter what type of computer you have but please keep subscribed to the channel and I will be showing you guys how to upgrade your current desktop or laptop computer for a cheaper price and how to assemble a PC from scratch. When choosing a table, always try to get a one with a board or a cover at the back which make it easier to do the cable management so you can't see the cables hanging from the front. Another advantage is you can use the front side of the board for your ease. In my case, I have attached my camera and light chargers on the board using Velcro tape. So you can attach and detach anytime you want and it's really convenient. All these accessories can vary to what you are using this workstation for. That's it about the workstation setup. Let's move on to the final segment and this is where this will make it interesting. The looks 
props and backgrounds. Office space is where we spend our time most, so it should be appealing to work. Fortunately, I have this top shelf I kept as it is to keep some of my gear and some props to make it nice. Further kept my top shelf lit by a newer RGB LED light controlled by the phone. I will keep links to buy all the gear, tools and equipment mentioned in this video in the description below. No one is paying or I will not get any profit when you click or buy, so all those items just for your reference. The back wall was white, so I added a black sheet to the top back wall to make it match to the bottom area of the wardrobe. Behind the table, the lower part of the wardrobe, I added acoustic forms to reduce the echo and to make that look. On the front edges, I have attached an app-controlled RGB LED strip to get the acoustic form lit in different colors, keeping in mind that I will use this area as background for my future videos. Here we came to the end of this video. Comment below what you think about the idea to do a wardrobe setup and please let me know if you think anything should have been better if set up in a different way. If you like the video or if you think it's helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel will be significant. If you have a setup or if you make one in future similar to this, please let us know. That's it for the lineup today guys. See you in the next video. Until then, peace.